Welcome to Valhalla, where we've convinced the Norse gods to help us out with a rundown of the cranial nerves. They're meeting with Odin for a thing. It's a whole big thing. Anyways, to help you remember all the funny names of the nerves, they've come up with a fun mnemonic for you. Ready? Odin's owl observes Thor's terrifying abs. Freya's Valkyries glorify Valhalla and accessory hammers. First is Odin for the olfactory nerve, our first cranial nerve, which senses smell. So get a load of Odin and his big old nose, holding his number one tipped spear. Next is Owl for the optic nerve, or cranial nerve two, and it senses sight. So take a good long look into Odin's owl's eyes and try not to get too lost in those swirling windows into its soul. We've got these two symbols popping out of that skull-shaped pulpit to remind you that these two nerves are actually considered part of the central nervous system, not part of the PNS like the rest of the cranial nerves, which has to do with their embryological origins. Be sure to check those out together in the first of our cranial nerve sketches. Now we'll bring in the rest of the crew, starting with Observes, for which we have Oculus, the Observer. He's representing the oculomotor nerve, or cranial nerve 3, which moves the eye. Not alone, though. Two other nerves help with that, so we've grouped all three in their own sketch. One of those is cranial nerve 4, or the trochlear nerve. And in our mnemonic, he's Thor, the god of thunder, carrying his four-shaped axe. Cranial nerve 5, the trigeminal nerve, helps with many things like facial and tongue somatic sensation and jaw movement. It's represented by this truly terrifying trigem serpent. Huh, I remember that snake being scarier. Looks like it kind of dried out and shriveled up. The final nerve that helps move the eye is the abducens nerve, cranial nerve 6, symbolized by some stunning and rippling abs. No wonder Odin's owl wants to peep at them a bit. All right, we're halfway through the cranial nerves, so let's pause and remember our mnemonic. We've already covered 1 through 6, and our mnemonic goes like this for that first half. Odin's owl observes Thor's terrifying abs. Next, we have Freya's Valkyries glorify Valhalla and accessory hammers. You know those accessory hammers. So stylish these days. The facial nerve is a biggie, symbolized by Freya. Like the trigeminal nerve, she does a whole lot, including some taste and motor innervation to most muscles of the face. So be sure to check out all those important functions out in Cranial Nerve 7 sketch. Her valkyries represent the vestibulocochlear nerve, bringing sound and balance information to the brain from the ear. You'll see how valkyries are trained over in their secret lair in the cranial nerve 8 sketch. Let this spectacular and glorious trumpeter, glorifying the celebrations with his glorious trumpet, represent the glossopharyngeal nerve, cranial nerve 9. It handles sensation to the back of the tongue and motor to the pharynx, and even senses blood pressure and composition through baroreceptors and chemoreceptors. Real grab bag of functions there. And what exactly is he glorifying? Valhalla, of course. The vagus of the Norse gods, and it, of course, represents the vagus nerve. So check out these rune dice that seem to have rolled their way into the scene. Man, Vikings really know how to party. The vagus is the longest cranial nerve, and does a whole bunch of things, including both motor and some sensation to the larynx, and as well carries lots of parasympathetics to various parts of the body. Our penultimate nerve is the accessory nerve, so we'll meet Freya again in the cranial nerve 11 sketch, sporting some very fine accessories, and maybe even that necklace. And last, but certainly not least, is the hypoglossal nerve, symbolized by our chief blacksmith's hammer, bringing motor innervation to most of the tongue. And that's all the cranial nerves. Let's go through the mnemonic together one last time. Odin's owl observes Thor's terrifying abs. Freya's valkyries glorify Valhalla and accessory hammers. What were they all meeting for? I told you, it's a thing. You know, like a big thing. No, really, thing is a thing. It's called a thing, you know, a meeting of Vikings, a thing. I'm serious, Google it.